Welcome to Metro Vancouver Close-Up, your look at sustainability success stories in the region. Biofuels made from feathers, wastewater, wood, microbes and algae. These are some of the materials being researched globally as feedstocks for biofuel. The city of Surrey is now constructing a biofuel facility that will use food scraps to generate fuel for municipal vehicles and a district energy system. It doesn't look like much now, but this construction site in Surrey is the start of something that could change the way we look at organic waste. So what you see here is the development of North America's largest organic waste processing facility. Once it's completed, this facility will process 115,000 metric ton of organic waste per year. When the facility starts operating in early 2017, it will produce high quality compost. But more importantly, these pipes will also collect biomethane or renewable natural gas. It's a closed loop system, commonplace in Europe, but unique in North America. Organic waste that's created by Surrey's residents will supply much of the raw material needed to create compost and extract methane. There's a truck that picks it up, it's going to put it into this giant digester, and then the end result is some methane gas that will be captured, put back into the system, to go to a filling station that will be in Coquitlam, that will fill up that vehicle with its methane, with its uh, natural gas. The plant will eventually result in a cost savings to the city, and will help it achieve an important goal. By the year 2020, our objective is to reduce our carbon emissions derived from our corporate operations by 20%. With the operation of this facility alone, we will reduce our carbon emissions by up to 25% after, the, after its first year of production. Surrey's biofuel facility is a public-private partnership being built by a company called Orga World. The city provided the land while the company is building the plant and will operate it once complete. Orga World will also collect organics from the commercial sector. The city will own the fuel and the company will own the compost. My hope is, is that uh, the people that are in the region uh, will become benefactors of the, the compost that comes out of there to, to grow the stuff that could be harvested and have the waste of what's being grown put back into the system to keep that circle going. This is so exciting. You know, to be um, one of the sole municipalities in North America to be developing something that's so innovative, so cutting edge for North America, um, it's, it's very exciting to be a part of that. 